Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I am going to wrap up my two-part series on using the Not Too Shabby Shop November subscription box of the month, which is called Holiday Sparkle and using the kit components to play along with Kendra's card challenge number eight. If you didn't already know, the Not Too Shabby Shop is a sponsor of this challenge, so if you play along with the challenge, you could win a gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby Shop. And today, what I'll do is I will be choosing three papers from the uh, Christmas on the Farm paper pad because in my first video I chose papers from the more New Year's themed paper pad and I thought it would be interesting since we do get two 6x6 paper pads with matching ephemera I thought it would be really, really fun to do part of this challenge using the more New Year's themed papers and the other part of the challenge using more Christmas themed papers and see how it works out where I have to combine the two. <laughs> so what you'll see in this video is how to cut the three sheets. Uh, so this is going to be D, E, and F. And these are the uh, cutting guides that do involve some diagonal cuts. The biggest tip is really when you look at the, the numbers on the cutting guide, the numbers are an indicator of the length of that segment. So it's not an indicator of, um, let's say, you know, um, the distance from the left edge or from the top edge, it's the length of that segment. So, um, so what you want to measure is from the previous cut line, um, you go that distance and that's where your next cut line is. So what I'll do is I, um, I do end up making the remaining 11 cards that are part of this card challenge and some of them will be Christmas cards and actually some end up being New Year's cards. One tip that I would give and the beauty of the Not Too Shabby Shop subscription box is that the paper pads are double-sided and that definitely makes it a lot easier to mix and match between paper pads because it just gives you more options for um, picking um, a pattern that is going to work with a paper that may not necessarily have come from the same paper pad. So that definitely helps because a lot of times and this is especially true of the Not Too Shabby Shop paper pads. If one side is super themed, um, usually what you'll find is that the other side is a little bit more um, neutral in terms of theming, in terms of color and or pattern. So that definitely makes it easier to um, play along with this challenge when you're mixing and matching between paper pads. The other thing that's fantastic about using the subscription box of the month is that you get matching ephemera that go uh, with each of the paper pads. And so I did do some stamping and um, mainly for sentiments, but mostly relied on the ephemera as my um, focal image or to build up a collage for my focal image. So so it's really, really fantastic. You can get a lot of cards made for um, not a lot of time and I still have so much paper and so much ephemera left to craft with. So this is the box that just will, you know, get you all sorted out if you are still making holiday cards and are thinking ahead to sending out some New Year's cards. 
So set the rest of this video to some music and you can see all 11 cards come to life. I won't be rejoining you at the end with a voiceover, so I'll go ahead and say my goodbyes now. Thank you so much for joining me and until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.